Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you are a returning favorite, welcome back. So today I have another floral review for the week because we are leading up to the Philadelphia Flower Show. So I figured let's just go ahead and do a bunch of new floral scents. The one I have today though is not new, um, but it is new to me and one that I have been wanting to try ever since I really kind of got into this brand. Um, so without further ado, I am of course talking about Nest and it is Blue Garden and I have it right here. Now this is, uh, an older jar. Um, I got this as a gift for Christmas. Um, it's actually nice. The whole thing is blue, uh, translucent blue. The new jar looks like her other jars and, and her, I'm talking Laura Slacken, Harry Slacken's wife who owns Ness, who founded Ness there. Um, so this is an older jar, but the scent is the same. Performance, I'm going to imagine, is also going to be the same. So, talk about Blue Garden real quick. Blue Garden is uh, it's a candle that uh, is available year-round um, from her, and it is a charity candle. So by that, uh, what do I mean? So 10%, uh, I think it's 10%, I could be wrong, um, don't quote me on the 10% part, a portion is donated to Autism Speaks. Um, and it's been very well documented that uh, Harry and his wife are very, very active um, in the Autism Speaks um, organization, uh, as well as other um, efforts involving Autism Speaks, because they do have a son, David, uh, who is autistic, and that is uh, very public knowledge, so I'm not sharing anything that is um, private to the family there. Um, but they um, have done wonderful things uh, in regards to uh, fighting autism and just uh, doing all kinds of different uh, research there. And this is just another way that they're able to um, help uh, raise funds with, with the Blue Garden um, candles as well as diffusers um, and product line. And even on the back here of the candle, it even has the Autism Speaks uh, logo, which is a puzzle piece there. So, And you may see folks um, around town, they might have a little pin on uh, that's a puzzle piece. And that typically um, signifies that they are supporting uh, Autism Speaks somehow. And I know all this because my wife used to work in uh, special needs with special needs individuals there. So um, Candle, you know, the, the, the whole... Um, being active thing is, is certainly very near and dear uh, to our hearts as well. Um, <clears throat> and she actually uh, used to work, uh, used to perform, not perform, uh, stage manage a, a production that was about special needs individuals starring special needs uh, individuals there. Um, so uh, so there's that little background on that. So um, pick it up to support. So anyhow, so Blue Garden, what is it? Well, um, this is a candle that uh, was made for me, I feel like. Uh, it has all those um, garden florals to it. Hyacinth, right? So hyacinth is one of the main fragrant notes, fragrance notes in this candle. You don't get too many good highest in candles that are able to actually replicate um uh highest in this nobody makes them because i think the highest in highest in flower is just so potent and strong i love it um if i could have this whole house filled with highest all all year long um i certainly would but uh this is a nice substitute for that there <clears throat> so highest in one of the main fragrance notes in this leafy greens right there is certainly a green note going on in here um the box says blue hydrangea highest and their forget-me-nots are blending with fresh green notes and dew drop to create the aroma of a lush floral garden so blue hydrangea highest and certainly blue purple plants purple florals there um in color at least so that's where the blue garden name i think came from it might have something to do also with uh the autism speaks uh, um, organization there. So I'm not sure, but let's get into, so this candle is, well, this is my second nest candle I burned. I did burn hearth. 
Um, I just didn't get enough of it burned uh, to do a proper review. But if you're interested in the hearth candle, go check out Anthony over at Candle Cafe. He did do a review on that. Um, and I like this candle so much that I'm going to pick up a three wick in it because this little candle, 8.1 ounces, powered up the whole house. Um, it was a powerhouse and it lingered. Um, but back to the uh, scent for a little bit there. So if you like those hyacinth, those hydrangeas, the green note, the green note is very prominent when burning. Um, very, very prominent when burning there. Um, it was just very pleasant. And, you know, these candles, they're $42 for 8.1 ounces. And I know Anthony said something similar along these lines there, but you can just feel um, the difference in the quality and the burn and just the experience um, when you burn this. Now, for me, I could not burn this uh, every day because it's $42. Um, I don't want to uh, go through a $42 candle in a couple of days. Um, that's why I'm getting the three wick and I will burn that maybe an hour or two at a time. And I know because I burned three wick orange blossom that those three wicks power up the whole house even more. So um, you get your money's worth for it. And they're, they're $68 for a three wick and they're t almost 22 ounces or 21 point something. So um, the the three wicks there, uh, you get your money's worth for them because they are 21 point something, so they're almost 22 ounces there. Um, so you get your money's worth for them where these are 42 for eight ounces. So you're getting three times that for only about 20, what, $26 more, something like that. My math is a little, a little off there. But um, as far as burn on this, so I have issue with single wicks sometimes, and this is one of them. Um, it's just the way my house is. There's nothing wrong with the candle. I did have to foil this to get a proper pull all the way around because my house tends to be a little chilly at times, so I need to keep it protected. Um, but other than that, it burned. Now, her wax does leave residue on the side there. I'm sure you can see that there because uh, I believe it is a soy paraffin blend, and you can see the translucency of that right there of the vessel. So, um, yeah, it's just... It's not a deal breaker. And these are vessels can be reused. I mean, they're gorgeous pieces of glass. Um, so, so that's what I have for you on Nest. Um, and I, you know, that's like I said, it's an older jar, but it's still very nice. And it's a very good uh, piece to have out on display. I do wish they would come with lids. They only come with uh, clear plastic dust lids. So that, not a big deal, but I would like, um, Regularly, they do sell them like twenty-two dollars extra, but you know. Um, but the three wicks pointer, the homeworks lids fit the three wicks perfectly. So uh, check that. It's very windy outside. So crazy. Um, <laughs> okay, guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. That's what I have for you. And I'll see y'all real soon. Have a good one.